Yeah. Yo. First of all, good morning and good evening, everyone. Today we'll explore how to make a table grid galley in Power Apps. But before we deep down into that, let me introduce myself. Uh, my name is Shiv. I'm a Microsoft Sixty Five specialist. I have a good expertise in Power Platforms such as Power Apps, Power Automate, SharePoint, Azure, SPFX. And apart from that, uh, I also like to write blogs. I'm a speaker too. I'm a passionate techie. So today we will explore how can we make a Airtable Grid experience in Power Apps. So that is not only Airtable Grid, but we can uh, post data in a bulk Airtable Grid. So let me quickly tell you the features for the same. So in this uh, demo, we will cover basic functionality or that and the overview of the uh, modern controls and the features and lastly bulk added functionality so, so this is a quick uh, you can say a snap of that application where uh, you can see a, a application which having a modern header control and below that we have a, a vertical gallery in which we have a table and here we have defined the headers of the table and uh, below that we have a table data and here uh, we have taken some few controls uh, data types that is uh, label uh, input text for these name of the speakers so basically uh, before uh, before uh, coming on that on this app uh, let me tell you the use case for this app here uh, we are just maintaining the data for the speakers uh, like speaker details and uh, their uh, relevant information like he's uh, what is the speaker type he's a team speaker he's a general speaker he's a workshop speaker similarly uh, he's a he's a guest or he's an internal speaker or he's an external speaker his uh, job description his his name and what is the reason he belongs to he's like uh, so that we also maintain uh, here and uh, when he joined this platform that date or is he still active or not so these all are details we have maintained in SharePoint list i will go through you uh, that database first so that you can you can understand better so that SharePoint list before we go to deep dive so here we have a SharePoint list. Uh, we have a speaker name, speaker type, that is a choice type column, where we maintain the different types of speaker. And how many uh, speaking events they did that we made in a number type column. And after that, we have another choice type column uh, for maintaining the status of the speaker. And after that, we have a, uh, like, is the uh, speaker is internal or external? So that's a allow speaker type. And we have also maintained, uh, the approval history like uh, let's say if a new speaker joined this platform so whom it is approved by so all that details and their history and comments then decision taking let's say this year so these are the uh, basic details uh, before starting i want to inform all the backend so that if you uh, start that uh, uh, so before you should uh, know the each and every data fields Similarly, speaker names, and this is the one checkbox column where we are maintained is the speaker is active or not. So uh, let me start uh, to showcase you. Uh, before uh, that, uh, let me tell you the recap this uh, use case where uh, we just, uh, in the last call, we just deep dive in that speaker platform where we have all the details of the speakers. Uh, in this today call, uh, we have speaker bulk added data page which uh, i showed you in the earlier slide uh, here uh, we have uh, these modern controls where uh, when we use tab key it will automatically forward to the next field so these are very helpful and pretty simple and pretty helpful we also uh, use date picker for this uh, platform join date and drop downs for speaker regions and speaker types and guest internal allowed speaker type and we have used uh, text input controls for speaker name 
and speaker job description and lastly uh, is active so we had we had used uh, checkbox control for maintaining the speaker is active or not and lastly uh, that's important save button uh, for this whole bulk gallery in a single click we uh, we are just patching the data in the uh, sharepoint list and for this instead of uh, looping the data in multiple iterations that will be impact the performance so here uh, we are using collections for a single click we in a few millisecond we just saving the data let me quickly showcase you the one of the uh, uh let's say i am just changing the names and i am making a change in employee designation and a lot of speaker type i am making as actional and speaker type as a team speaker and reason i am setting to south america and date is i am setting to 4th of january similarly i just uh, want to cover a multiple use cases like uh, in multiple rows in few columns so that uh, we are also validating that thing so i am just updating the few random data similarly uh, we can choose a reason for mark also and uh, i am unchecking this record and clicking some button so once we uh, save the data in few milliseconds it save the data and refresh the uh, new data you can see we just save that a technical receipt of tech lead uh, and the date and reason for mark and uh, similarly we had changes for general speaker let me show us the changes in the back end database and i need to before that i need to refresh the database and then in list we can see the existing data you can see speaker type is keynote and is active also remove for james so uh, let me show you the code for that you can see i can uh, let me open the powerpoint studio so here is our screen first of all i had used for header i use this header and gallery and uh, we have uh, pre built header provided by microsoft thanks to the microsoft that they have provided a pre built header where we can uh, let me show you the header part first so here uh, in the header we can add a title and we can upload the logo as well as as per our requirement so here uh, we can upload our logo and uh, any image as per our requirement and after that we can update the title from here that is very pretty simple and pretty basic and after it uh, this is the second container uh, uh, where i just let me show you that gallery speakers gallery pretty simple and pretty easy uh here uh, before i just uh, use a batch control that is up that background blue header but that is a batch control which i just expand it in the whole area let me show you and we can even change the color of that batch control in the color setting and uh, in this batch control i added a label for this speaker type that is is active and then uh, is active then speaker type this is a simple uh, label control uh, let me show you that also text label that's as very pretty simple and then similarly for all the headers i have used the same one and uh, below that uh, we have uh, one more hidden button which you cannot see here but the logic behind it is let me show you that first mm -hmm. yeah so there is here is our shape button uh, so here uh, what we are doing we are using patch function and we here is our list name and uh, we are using so column because some columns are uh, not showing here so we have used speaker name job description allow speaker type speaker type so we and lastly most important id column 
because whenever we are patching data, we need ID. So after uh, submitting, we are notifying the users uh, with notified type dot success and three second uh, time to hold the notify uh, notification. And then uh, we are just clearing the uh, disk collection uh, because we are just uh, getting the first data on the time of submit button. And this is our uh, variable uh, for uh, once uh, we are uh, just getting data, so we are uh, filtering on the basis of this uh, variable uh, true or false value. Let me show you that. So here, here is our gallery and here is our button which I'm talking about that is the height. So what we are doing is on these gallery header, uh, gallery, uh, this dot item, we are on change, we are just setting, uh, we are selecting that button. So we are just clicking that button on that change of any item. What it will do is, let me show you that button. Here's a button. So what we are doing is we are checking like the item we are clicking uh, is should be there. It should be validated that particular item ID and we are uh, we are just validated ID and then uh, we are collect whole data in this particular collection by using this item pretty simple. And then we are just uh, updating the ID and then each and every column type we have to mention on which column we have to uh, page the data. It is pretty simple and uh, very helpful. So once we will uh, save this, uh, uh, once we are uh, triggering this button, it will getting the whole uh, whole collection from that uh, from that uh, row ch uh, on change event, and it will patch this whole collection in this sim in this list. Pretty simple, uh, pretty basic. That's all. Thank you.